Okay, here's another one of my screen set that I uh, use a lot, uh, and this is what I call my comping view. If you sang like me, you'd probably comp quite a bit as well. But as you can see, here we uh, have just a my sort of standard view, if you like. And the first thing I'm going to do, because I don't want to see it in this screen set, is uh, although it's not screen set saved, this by the way, you can call this back as and when. It's press C to get rid of the control bar. Uh, so now that's gone, I'll just click and get rid of that console if you've already got there because obviously if you're building this from scratch you may not have it there already but anyway the first stage in this is uh, bring up the console view which is alt 2 as you can see up that pops there and I'm going to hide from the strips view I'm going to hide buses because I don't want to see it so you can see this is in wide uh, strips at the moment I usually use a console an awful lot in narrow strips so I can get more in but in this particular case because I actually want to be able to read the names half reasonably I'll leave it in wide view if I shrink it down to narrow, it tends to convolute the names a little bit too much. And besides which, it's not really important how many tracks I see at the bottom there. I'm usually only comping one or two anyway. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, click and drag that down. And all I want to see here is the name and the track number. And that's about it really. So that's just very, very narrow console view height wise uh, to allow that to show. As you can see at the top here are all the tracks. And... I'm going to just control A, which will select all tracks, and then I can shift click and drag the view down to fill the gap with each individual track. Uh, now what that's done basically is it's resized all of the tracks to fit that gap there, that, so all I can see is the single track each time, no matter which track I'm working on. And now the divider between the clips pane and the back header, I'm just going to drag that across there, and that gets rid of the track header completely. Uh, the inspector, I have shown how to get rid of that in previous videos, but if you haven't seen it, press I to bring it up, undock it, and then use the close window key that gets rid of that that also works for the browser by the way if the browser if, if all you want to see is absolutely full screen there just undock and then close and that's that gone completely so now you can see I have uh, a track uh, a view with a, a full waveform basically which just makes comp much easier Also, you can just deselect that and then uh, just press F10 a couple of times to bring up the comp tool and I can comp away to my heart's content uh, and that's that obviously it's quite easy to change tracks by just clicking on there some of these here you can see some have uh, layers and some don't but uh, that's it and that's my comping view hope that helps someone else